Have you ever really sat and thought about the long list of effects that get attributed to drugs and alcohol? Let's talk about alcohol for an example. On the one hand, they say that alcohol makes people nice, warm, peaceful, loving, outgoing. On the other hand, 40 to 50% of violent crimes are attributed to alcohol. And we say that it makes people hostile, aggressive, violent, that it's a source of date rapes, even. How can both of these classes of effects be true? Is it true that alcohol can make people both nice and nasty? The typical uh, response to this question is, well, it affects different people differently. Well, that's true to some degree. Some people are more apt to get nasty when they drink. Some people are more apt to be nice. But the funny thing is that a lot of times the people who are nasty one day are pretty nice on alcohol the next. And back and forth and back and forth. There are plenty of contradictions in our lore or legends, I'll say, or even myths about alcohol and other drugs. It's supposed to relax you. You can have a drink, slide down into your couch, and withdraw and be in your own little world. Or it can stimulate you. You can have a drink to get wild, party, be outgoing, talk to strangers at a bar. Again, these are opposites. Both can't be true. Which one is it? Does alcohol relax you or stimulate you? I would say it doesn't do either. In fact, the relaxation or the stimulation comes from our intentions when we drink, our mindset, what we aim to do, plan to do when drinking, from our setting. We put ourselves home alone when we want to relax and have a drink. We put ourselves in a social setting when we want to be outgoing and social having a drink or many drinks. It's an illusion that alcohol does either of these things by virtue of its pharmacology. It doesn't. 